الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه All praise be to Allah, incredible amount of salam and salutations to the noble messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Respected brothers and sisters, Allah the Almighty said in the noble Qur'an, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu dukhulu fi silmi kaf. All you who believe, enter into the fold of Islam fully and completely. Unfortunately, we see many of us today, we have become partial Muslims, occasional Muslims. Muslims only for Ramadan, Muslims only for Laylatul Qadr, Muslims only for, for, uh, for Hajj, Muslims only for uh, 15 night of Sha'ban. And when those occasions and times are over, they're no longer Muslims. On the other hand, you find people who are very good Muslims when they come to masjid, when they come to prayer places, when they come to the holy and sacred lands. But once they are out of those places, they tend to neglect the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They say, you know what, can we follow everything? Is it possible to do all these things? When it comes to their wedding, when it comes to their social events, when it comes to their celebrations and parties, they completely forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In their social events and occasions, they do things absolutely against the instruction and teaching of Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Also, we find some of our brothers and sisters have become Muslims of feelings, like emotions. If they like it, they will do it. If they don't like it, they will just avoid and they will neglect. Um, it's, it's more like a mix and match, cherry picking it. If they like it, they will do it. If they don't like it, they wouldn't do it. So, for example, we have Muslims, Muslim brothers who are praying and, mashallah, attending Qiyam, Tahajjud, but they're smoking, they're taking Shisha, they're getting into haram relationship as though this is all fine. We also have sisters, for example, mashallah, praying, have a lot of uh, love for Islam, but not observing the uh, Islamic dress code, the dress code which are which is uh, which is um, instructed by Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Even for example, the sisters coming to the mosques, attending the mosques and prayer places, and then observing the uh, religious dress code, which is uh, which is mentioned in the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So what I'm trying to say is, of course, it's a reminder for me and for everyone that we should try and observe and follow Islam, even though we like it, and sometimes we, might, we may find it difficult. And until and unless you find it hard, then it is not really uh, you are following the, the teaching of Islam. So we should be really, not, we should be full-time and proper Muslim rather than occasionally part-time, feelings and emotion. We are doing good things at the same time, we're doing halal things. Brothers are having shisha, brothers are having smoke, are smoking, in, in, involved in, in wrong activities, and then you know, people are people are swearing, abusing, and people are doing all sort of bad things. But at the same time, mashallah, a lot of a lot of love and emotion for Islam. So we have to really understand. And alhamdulillah, I'm not saying these are bad things. We should have good uh, emotion and we should have love for Islam. We should feel good about Islam. But at the same time, we also uh, should follow the other bit as well, and not be just occasional, partial, or emotional Muslims. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me and everyone the ability to practice upon what has been said. Once again, Ramadan Kareem, Taqabal Allah bin Amin Kum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you and us. Wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.